Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Another week, another cooking series. And for today's video, I'm gonna show you another set of lunch that I will prepare. We're gonna have steamed pork with pickled cucumber, fish omelette, shrimp tempura, stir-fried cabbage sprouts, and radish soup. Facts about Taiwan. There are nations which eat to live and nations which live to eat. The Taiwanese are most certainly one of the latter. Eating out is so convenient and inexpensive that few single people bother cooking. In families where both the mother and father work full-time, meals are usually takeouts or put together by a grandparent. Taiwanese people are passionate about local cuisine. But that doesn't mean they have no interest in what's served up in other countries. Japanese food has long had a place in the hearts and stomach of Taiwanese. Taiwan is a semi-tropical island in East Asia, one of the world's most exciting and rapidly changing regions. Like many other places in Asia, Taiwan is densely populated and highly developed in terms of economics, technology, and transport. Its people are highly educated and well-traveled. Nonetheless, exotic cultures drive throughout the island and breathtakingly unspoiled scenery can be found in its mountainous interior. I'm done cutting with the radish so it's time to cook it first because it's gonna take time to get the radish softened. Now it's time to prepare and wash the cabbage sprouts. Taiwanese cooking is a branch of Chinese cuisine, so meals tend to be based around white rice. While pork is the most commonly eaten meat, chicken is common, beef is enjoyed except by the small portion of the population who for traditional rather than religious reasons never consumed it. Noodles made from wet or rice flour are also popular. Thin soups are served with most every meal. Taiwanese food is seldom very spicy. Most of the rice eaten in Taiwan is grown on the island, with certain parts of Walian and Taitung being renowned for the quality of their grains. Taiwan also grows an immense range of vegetables. Now, 
I'm gonna prepare the pickled for our steamed ground pork. Pickled cucumber made with sugar, soy sauce, and vinegar tastes very different from the typical pickled cucumbers you could find in other countries. It tastes sweet with a very distinctive soy sauce like omame and the texture is very crunchy. Traditionally, people in Taiwan will enjoy this pickled cucumbers with congee along with other side dishes for breakfast. In the past, most Taiwanese people farm for a living. So when the vegetables were in season and they harvested more than they could finish, they would pickle those vegetables with salt, sugar, soy sauce, and other ingredients. That way, the vegetables can be kept for longer. Also, at that time, most people couldn't afford eating too much rice, so they eat congee instead, adding water to make the rice feel more filling. These flavorful pickled vegetables just so happen to go perfectly with congee. I'm done chopping the pickled cucumber. Now, let's chop some garlic. Ground pork with pickled cucumber is a Taiwanese dish in origin similar to the ever popular loro fan, marinated pork over rice but requires way fewer ingredients and is so much faster to make. It's not a dish that you'd see commonly sold in Taiwan. Quasero directly translate to melon cucumber meat which is exactly what this dish made of minced pork and Chinese pickled cucumbers. These two ingredients are simmered over half an hour and you end up with a salty mix of meat and slightly crunchy cucumber in a rich liquid sauce to drizzle over a warm bed of rice. I just add everything to the ground pork, the chopped pickled cucumbers, chopped garlic, a spoon of soy sauce, a black pepper and salt, and then a little bit of oyster sauce. Give it a massage to get all the ingredients to blend together. Checking our ground pork with pickled cucumbers and it's still not fully cooked so I add a little bit more of water. 
now it's time to prepare our fish pancake or fish omelet key ingredients are eggs and flour salt and pepper to taste there are optional things that you could add if you want to the fish omelet or fish pancake like chopped onions chopped garlic or chopped tomatoes and chopped scallions but as of the moment i don't have any of those so i just made the basic fish omelet Cabbage is a staple, considered a rather dreary, leafy green by many Westerners. In the hands of a Taiwanese cook, it becomes a delicious stir fry with garlic, cauliflower, broccoli, asparagus, eggplants, carrots, and potatoes are widely consumed. Brussels sprouts aren't common, but imported celery and lettuces grown indoors and widely available. that's it for today's video guys thank you for watching and i hope you all enjoy this another set of cooking series please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you will get notified on my upcoming videos just like this one i hope you all have a great weekend and i hope you all have a good day see you next week Bye bye